Hey guys, it's me Anise, and today I decided to do a really fun autumn look. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply Painterly by MAC onto my eyelid. And that's going to create a nice even base so you can't see my veins in my eyelids. And then I'm going to be applying Desert Essence Organic Coconut Jojoba and Coffee Oil all over my face and neck because my skin's been so dry lately. And an interesting thing about jojoba is it is the oil that is the closest to our own natural sebum, so it will absorb the fastest and the best. Then I'm going to grab my Andalou face cream and it has SPF in it, so this is just a nice daytime cream. Now that I've prepared my skin, I am going to apply my MAC liquid foundation. So using the oil, using the moisturizer underneath the foundation makes it spread a lot easier and it makes it look more natural. Now I want to have my foundation be a shade lighter, so I'm going to mix in goth white. Now because I want full coverage on my under eye circles, I am going to be applying concealer on top of foundation. I'm just going to tap it on in. And then to put all of that together, I'm going to use my MAC powder and just blend everything together. I want my blush to stand out a bit, which is why I'm putting it on top of my powder. And this is the Luminoso blush from Milani. For my eye makeup, I'm going to use the first color in the Naked 3 palette, Strange, on my eyelids. The next thing that I'm going to use is a matte eyeshadow by MAC in Rural, and it is this beautiful orange color and very matte. Definitely something that I was looking for for a while, and I was like, why didn't I go look at MAC? Now I'm not going to worry that I got a little bit of orange underneath my eyelid. What I'm going to do is use a, my foundation brush and just sweep it off. Now I want this to be a very intense orange, so what I'm going to do is apply Venus from the BH Cosmetics Galaxy palette on top of the matte orange. With Fix Plus on a brush, I am going to use Aphrodite and I'm going to put it on top of the orange, like just in my crease.
and then I'm going to extend that Aphrodite color underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm going to grab Saturn from the Galaxy palette and I'm going to use that on my brow bone and in my inner corners as well. Now I'm going to take a smaller smudging brush and I'm going to use Blackheart, the darkest color in the Naked 3 palette, and I'm going to darken up my crease. And then I'm going to take Blackheart and put it right underneath that red color that I have on my lower lash line. And have some tea. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use a Milani Easy Brow Pencil. And what color is this? This is dark brown. And I'm going to use one side, the pencil side, to draw them on. And then I'm going to use the spoolie to blend it all in. I have to say Milani is my favorite kind of budget beauty brand. Very inexpensive, but all their products I've been very excited with. The next thing that I'm going to do is grab from the Naked 3 palette the color Dust and I'm just going to put that in my inner corners all the way up to the corner of my eyebrows. I'm going to line my waterline with an Eddie Funkhauser eyeliner. And now for my eyelashes, I'm going to apply a coat of Urban Decay Mascara and then I'm going to use eyelash extension fibers from Milani and put that on top of my lashes and then another coat and that just makes your eyelashes look longer. I really, really love the eyelash fibers from Milani because they give me that fake eyelash look without having to wear fake eyelashes. I love the way fake eyelashes look, but I don't really like the feeling of wearing them, so this is perfect. For my lips, I am going to start off with the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip Gloss Color in Adrenaline and just put it all over my lips. And then I am going to use the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip Color in Punch Drunk and apply it right in the center. 